what's up my crazy subscriber this is joking john 34 here bring us more black after the multiplayer and today i'll be teaching you guys how to set up the best class setup for the brm which is an lmg in black ops 3 so anyways the brm i suggest to keep your distance from every single enemy that you see because from short range you will not do any kind of damage even if you aim down sight so keep your distance from medium range to long range in order for you to make some damage with this weapon if you guys saw my uh my gameplay within nuketown i kept my distance from every single enemy out there because from short range from hip fire and aiming down sight, it just doesn't make the damage so uh, keeping the distance you will be successful with this weapon like around 80% of the time so um, this weapon also it is a very powerful compared to the dingo and the other LMGs the Gorgon is still like a two-shot kill so that one's too obvious the dredge I still haven't tested it out but um, you know as far as I know the BRM is stronger than the dingo and uh, this is an alternative just in case you don't want to use the, the Gorgon because it feels like a little bit slow so the, the BRM I'm telling you it is a great weapon to use if you guys want to keep your KD super high and also to keep your distance from the enemies in order for you to survive longer in matches and also to gain more kill streaks along the way so let's move on to the attachments let me tell you guys why you need some of the attachments that you're about to see and uh, the first one we got the recon this one I use it because it gives me a little bit more of a clarity shot and um, I'm not sure if you guys saw the, la the gameplay with the BRM in Nuketown I just I'm able to aim with this uh, with the side with the reflex and the thermo, you know, I really just can't do anything with it. So even the BOA, I need a little bit more of a focus shot. And um, the recon gives me more of that focus shot that I need. So, and also if I do add the um, the, the Varix, I just feel like it's too close. It's too zoomed in. So I've, I just feel like the recon is the perfect sight to have with the BRM. Uh, the next attachment, and then, by the way, you can have whatever optic you want, but I suggest to use the recon because I believe it gives you more of a of a clear focus sight. Uh, moving on to the next attachment, which will be the FMJ. Now, this one will allow you to shoot through the walls, and um, you know, giving the enemy more of um it makes the enemy move around because if you're shooting through the wall and they're still taking damage they're gonna have to move around they're gonna have to move some to some other cover or take you down from a certain distance or approach towards you because um there's just no way they can just stay in a single cover because if they do they're gonna die because you're just shooting through the damn wall so the fmj gives you a little bit more of um you know more chances to survive from long range so i suggest to give you uh to use the uh fmj attachment with the brm Next attachment will be the grip. Now this one is a uh, hundred percent a uh, necessity because without the grip, the gun's gonna be all over the goddamn screen, and I don't, you know, that's not even good at all. So keep the grip on, and you should be able to do just fine from long range and from medium range. Short range is still pretty good, still kind of decent, but the thing is, it doesn't aim super fast. So I suggest you know to keep your distance with the uh, BR BRM overall. So that's why you need those attachment guys. Um, the optic you can use whatever you want, but this is what I use for that 80 kill gameplay with a nuke town. And um, also the lethal and the tactical, you can have whatever you want, but I'm using the frag, concussion, the perks. Also, you can have whatever you want, but I'm using the ghost, scavenger, and blast suppressor. So um, this this is my best class setup for the BRM. If you guys liked it, leave a like on the video. If you guys got any questions about any weapons, leave it in the comment section. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer? Make sure you subscribe for more.